Oh boy. Halloween is less than a week and I still got nothing to work at. Wait a burger was a fail last week, so what can I do now? HMM. Still Halloween. Do it right now. No. I'm pretty sure it is another crappy Halloween store similar to the one I worked at three weeks ago. No it isn't, and if you don't work there by tonight, I will haunt you in your sleep tonight. Got me? Ugh, fine foolish, I'll do it. HMPH. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting, and they had to hire a new one. I can't believe foolish made me go there through a first person speaking. What the heck, this is similar to the Halloween store I worked a few weeks ago. Same costumes and decorations and everything. Um, what are you talking about? Anyway, I would like to apply for a job here. You made me do it, so I'm going in. <sighs> well if I made you do it, then I guess you're automatically hired. But if you screw up during this, I will haunt you in your sleep tonight, okay? Not, Not again. again. Okay, okay. Welcome to Spirit Halloween, I guess. What would you like? I would like a Princess Witch theme costume. Me and my crushy Tristan are going to be matching this Halloween. Um, which one specifically? We got a lot here. Um, 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 the black and purple one. Yeah, no, not accepting it. Either you pick out the correct costume or you get out, please. Oh man, I wanted that witch costume. Can't believe she was rude like that to me. That's it, I'm telling Tristan. Welcome to Spirit- Aha, so it is you Betty. Emily told me what you did to her right as I was walking in the store. And this is either the third or fourth time I've seen you, pub. I didn't even know you were gonna show up. How does he even know? Like I said, she told me right as I was coming in. And even if she didn't, I wouldn't get anything from you anyway because I've seen you many times. I was gonna get a green gamer costume for my birthday, but now I'm not doing that. Excuses, excuses, they don't help now. I'm going to a different Halloween store along with my crushy for our costumes. Without you, fish. Again, at, at this point, point I, I don't, don't even care. care. Hello you two, and welcome. Nope. Oh shoot, what, what was that for? Did, Did they, they just, just ignore me or something? something? Hello you three, and welcome to Spirit Halloween. Wait a minute. You look like the same person me and my boyfriend saw at Popeyes in June. Betty, please admit it is you or else we're telling your parents. Yeah! We don't want to risk the damage here. Um, no. I think you were talking about a clone of me, named Betty White. I don't know any Betty Lou. Do you really? It is the same excuse you used in a previous episode, and it is you Betty, like why? Um, guys? Who is Betty Lou and why are you guys mad at her? She didn't do anything bad. She's an OC troublemaker created by Ella, and fails at jobs every single week. I suggest you hate her as well for doing all of this shit in the past. Oh really? Then you're right. Betty, I'm disgusted right now on your behavior as well. Even though I just met you, I can't believe you did all that in your higher series. Like why? No bugs. We're all heading to a different shop for a Halloween party. And if we ever see you again, things will not go good on you. And that is seven customers lost today. Betty freaking ass Lou. I know I know, I screwed up the job, so you're going to haunt me in my sleep tonight that you will be excused from since I'm not feeling well tonight, so you're off the hook for that one. Phew, thank goodness. 
but you're still getting fired no matter what for screwing up the job, like you said. You didn't give the customers their items, making them leave. Even I was one of those customers. Okay, it was your sixth time seeing me, so you just ignored me. You're sick anyway, so- Doesn't fucking matter. Now please, get out, or else more punishments will come. Now. Alright, jeez. When I get better, I'm still haunting Betty in her sleep. I heard that. Later that same evening. <sighs> okay, so I'm feeling better already, so it's time to do this. Okay, it's time to do this. Boo! Oh my fucking god, there's a ghost in my room. Oh man, that was so freaking ass funny to do. She thought there was a ghost in her room. Take that, Betty Boop. <laughs> I hate you so fucking much, Boo Fish. Finally, Halloween is over, but I still got nowhere to work at. Ever since Foolish haunted me in my sleep last week, I'm now afraid to go anywhere near him, and I even got a restraining order to stay 100 feet from him for the next month. But with that aside, where to work at next? Little Caesars. Oh come the fuck on, not you too Daniel. I am not working there, and if I do, it'll be the fourth pizza job I work at. Do it right now, or else Moody Blues will come and beat you up again like in August. Okay? Ugh, fine. <coughs> Fifteen minutes later. First foolish, now Daniel. But anyway we're here now. Daniel, don't get me started on the first person speaking. You made me work here, so I'm here now. Uh -huh. I didn't make you come here, you just wanted to. But that's good if you don't want Moody Blues to attack you again, you're hired for this. I'll be in the back drawing if you need anything, okay? Ugh, fine. And you mess up the job at all, then Moody Blues will be attacking you again. So please don't. Just don't. Hello sir, and welcome to Little Caesars. How can we help you? Hi. I would like a thin crust pepperoni so me and my girlfriend would be splitting the pizza in half. I would also like a Pepsi as well, two of them, so we can finish our meals. I'm sorry sir, but it looks like that won't be happening for the drinks. The pizza is fine, but the drink is not because Pepsi is bankrupt. It's been bankrupt ever since the start of my higher series, and I am not changing my mind. Are you out of your mind? Pepsi is not bankrupt, not bankrupt at all, so why would you assume it is bankrupt when it isn't? It's not. Can I just have my pizza and drink please? Yes on the pizza, but no on the drink, unless if you want to change the drink or not get one at all. Your choice. That's it, I'm going to a different Little Caesars. Betty over here won't shut up about Pepsi being bankrupt. Well excuse me lady, it isn't.
Hello you too, and welcome to Little Cassiers. Wait a minute. You look like the same girl I saw in Wendy's on April. And you look like the same girl who banned me from that fireworks shop around the 4th of July. And guess what? Today is my birthday. Betty, is this you? Please tell us the truth, or else we're telling Crimson. No, I would never do all those shitty stuff to you. I'm just a 14-year-old girl who keeps getting fired in every job and thinks Pepsi is bankrupt. Lies. All the evidences are in Ella's past videos of your jobs. One proof. Ella, pull up the playlist. I will. See? That's why we are not getting anything from you. You always do clumsy stuff every job and we don't like that. No tactic. We're going to Domino's now and hopefully we don't encounter someone like you there. Right Diego? Yay. Like. How. Hello Tim. Let's see if this pizza place is better than the last one. Don't ask. I'm literally going through a lot right now and I don't need your bullshit asking me for free pizza. Last time I had free pizza was at Pizza Hut in July, and guess what? You got me sick that day. Of course he always remembers the past events. I was terminated that week as well. Remember kids, never trust anyone who offers you free pizza, because you may never know what shit they will do next. I was gonna get a stuffed crust Hawaiian pizza like at the last place, but now I'm gonna have to go to another Little Caesars in order to do that. Never again, Betty. Pish. A few minutes later. Don't just sleep on the job, Betty, or else you'll be fired and getting moody blues. Do something. Ugh, fine. I only fell asleep on purpose because I was bored of Tim's complaining. Welcome to- Nope. Fifth time seeing you, don't want to see it. It, it happened, happened again. again. Hello you two, and- Oh no, not again with my parents. What now mom and dad? Well, she's getting grounded now. Daniel's right, Betty. You are getting grounded yet again for sneaking out of the house and working at this pizza place. Oh come on, I never even planned on leaving the house today. I only came in here because Crimson forced me to. Not only that, she screwed up on the job, and even was sleeping on it, so I'm gonna have to fire her and give her moody blues again. Actually, you don't have to do that. This video is long enough already, and we got to ground Betty. Oh, then I might as well do that in Ella's alt, never mind. Anyway, come with us now. You're now grounded for another week for leaving the house again. Now. Well, here we go again. No 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 Not again Ark, I cannot believe this. I have been sick for two days now and today is the day I work at Vot Druckers. If only that kid did not sneeze on me on Monday, I would have been fine, but no. <coughs> well, do I still feel hot or not, I'm still a bit sneezy, and she. Ark, 100.3. I still got a little fever, but I think I am okay enough to work, even I still got a little flu. It's a long walk as well, but luckily it's warm today so I don't have to get sick even more. <coughs> 20 minutes later. <coughs> I feel like I'm about to faint. But we made it. Elias, don't get me started. This is the fifth time I've seen you and the reason I got this mask on is because I have had the flu for two days now. Anyway, I would like to apply for a job here.
Are you sure about that? You still feel a little warm, and you look kind of pale. I said don't get me started. I would just like to apply for one here and that's it. Well, if that is what you want, then I guess you're hired. Reason why I am not taking you seriously is because I'm kinda low functioned at the moment. I'll be in the back if you need anything, okay? HMPH Welcome to fu- <coughs> Drucker sir, how can we help you? Um, hi. You sound a little sick. Are you alright? <coughs> yeah, I'm fine. Just a little stuffed up, but what do you want? Um, I would like a bacon cheddar wheat burger with fish and chips please. With a large coke to top it off. If, if you would have ordered, ordered a Pepsi, Pepsi I, would I would have screamed, screamed and that, that would make, make my, my throat, throat out even more. more. But, but he, he didn't. didn't. Okay, that will be- oh. And this week was my 15th birthday. Mind if I can have this as a late birthday gift? Oh shoot, I didn't even know your birthday was this week. Well, happy birthday to you, and I'll give you the meal in a mo. <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> yeah, about that. The meal got contaminated by my coughing so you're gonna have to wait a little longer because I'm making a new one. See? More proof that you are sick. You say you are stuffed up but no. I don't want to get myself sick, so I'm going to a different burger joint. Thanks for the B-Day wish though. I DK, I DK how I will, I will do, do this, this job, job right, right with a flu. flu. Hello you three, and welcome to Fuck Druckers. Uh oh, cat, up enough, that is the same menace I had to encounter last week at the Alliance building, and that is another big problem. You're not wrong, Peg. I also had to deal with her back in June and August. June was when she was a cop, and August when she was at Applebee's. This is my third time seeing her, and second time for you. What are you even talking about? i never seen her in my life. Cat, Betty Lou is one of the menaces out there, and she causes a lot of trouble. I say you not trust her after what she did in the past, and look on how she looks. It looks like some kind of virus got her or what? No, I'm fine. I'm only a little stuffed up, but it's not like I got the flu or something. <coughs> Let's get out of here. She may be contagious. Good, Good idea. idea. And it just, just got, got even harder. harder. Um, Betty? What was all that screaming about? Just some go kids who doesn't want to be near me. Oh, that's fine. I don't like them either. Keep going what you were doing. Okay then. Hello Timothy, and welcome to Fuck Druckers. I hear you're still sick. Are you okay? I can let Elias know to take you home early. <sighs> um, no, I'm fine. And is that Zeus you told me about? Oh, yay, that is my little cousin Zeus. He is nonverbal, so he cannot talk very well. He can understand me though, and he is staying with me this week. Oh, cool. Anyway, what would you and Zeus like? I would like a buffalo beef burger with wedge fries, and... And Zeus would like some chicken strips and a coke. Okay, you too. That will be. <coughs> <coughs> oh my god. Betty, are you okay? I'm fine. Just a little sniffly and chi, but I think I will be. Oh my god. She just fainted. I gotta take her back to her home ASAP. Speak to me, Betty. You'll be okay, right? Yeah, he's a little bit. You stay a little till. 
Booty will. Let's take her back home, Zeus. Luckily, due to go animate logic, we'll not get sick when we touch her. Come on, let's go. Doing okay, Betty? Huh? She's not here. Well, she did say earlier that she was not feeling well, so I'm guessing she timed herself out. But I was gonna fire her anyway for not giving Henry his food and making Peg and Cat leave. Oh well. Not my problem. Later that same evening. Betty. Betty you there. Oh thank goodness you're up. <sighs> huh? What just happened? All I remember is coughing at Buff Druckus and then I ended up here. We heard you coughing right as we were leaving the store, and you later fell asleep, so we put you right back in bed. We took your temperature, and you're still burning up, so we put you straight back in bed. <coughs> you know what guys, you're right. I should have not went to work while I was sick, I should have stayed in bed and rested the whole time. Even though we don't like you Betty, we felt really bad when you got the flu, so I hope you get better as well. Yeah, yeah same, same here. here. Thanks guys. At least I dodged a bullet for being fired. But I'm still contagious, so can everyone but Timothy and Zeus go home now? I don't want you all to end up like me. Sure, let's go contaminate some corn. Cat! Cat. Oops! It's going to be okay, Betty, I'm here with you. You'll be better in no time. I know you're cold and flu, got your shift off early, and next time you should've stayed home. And that's a lesson to learn, kids. If you're sick, please stay home, so you don't spread your germs to others. That's right. Want to stay with me while I take my nap, babe? Sure, and Zeus will too. I love you, Betty, and hope you get better. I love you too, Timothy. Good news, I'm feeling better from my flu. I got better this weekend. Bad news is, my boyfriend Timothy caught it and I still got no place to work at. I spent a lot of time this weekend with Peg and Cat and Nova that I completely forgot my job spree. Shake and shake. God damn it, first Foolish, then Daniel, and now you as you. Why do you all keep forcing these jobs, I wanted to work at some place cool, like Freddy's. Not this Freddy's rip off, and you are also talking to me first person. It doesn't matter, you are still going to work there no matter what, so do it. Alright, fine. Freddy's will be another day. <coughs> Fifteen minutes later. The R -R 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 -R. It's super cold out, but at least we made it. Asia, why? This is the fourth or fifth time I've seen you. But this time you forced me in here. I wanted to go to Freddy's but no, you fucked up. Well, the reason why I made you come here is because I requested that place while you were working with Daniel, and I think it's my turn. You're hired automatically, and if you don't do the job right, then you know what will happen, got it? So yes sir. Hello you two, and welcome to Steak and Shake. Wait a minute. That looks like same girl who was working at Fudrickers while sick last week. GRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRR
You are a menace and we can't order from menaces. Me and Asia are going to Burger King and never again will we meet, Betty. Come on Henry, let's go. Well, two 2007 babies gone from this store. Another 2007 baby? Nope, 2006, but almost 2007. Anyway, I would like double cheese steak burger with fries, with grilled cheese, and cherry limeade. I'm Cream by the way, the famous Tempo Apper and Plotaginner. I'm sorry, but we're all out of cherry limeade. Wait why? There's no such thing as limeade. There is such thing as lemonade though, but not limeade. What the heck? Limeade does exist. Lemonade and limeade are almost the same thing, except in limes it is sweeter and in lemons it is sour. When life makes lemons or limes, make lemonade or limeade. Not believing it. There is no limeade in this store and that is final. Either you choose another drink, or get out, please. That's it, I'm going to another steak and shake for my limeade. I can't believe that he doesn't know it exists, while I do. Again, Again, how, how the, the fuck, fuck does, does she know, know my name? name? Hello you two, and well- Oh yes. Peg and Kat are back. It's so nice to see you guys again. You too, and I'm glad you're feeling better. We were gonna bring Timothy and Nova Drome along with us too, but they're sick, so maybe next week. I knew Timothy was sick, but not for Nova. Well, I hope they get better. Anyway, what would you two like? I would like some chicken fingers and apple juice. And I would like a chili mac supreme. Okay, that will be- Are you okay? Coming to check on you. Uh oh, Azure is coming, also known as the requester of this video. And because of it, this is a big problem. Who's Azure? The blue gem found in rocks? We have to get out of here quickly before he finds out you guys exist. Good idea. He probably didn't see our show when he was little. I was gonna get fired anyway for kicking out everybody but you guys, but let's leave now. Hurry! Betty Lou, you are in so much trouble. Huh? She's not there. Well, I was gonna fire her anyway and call her parents for kicking out Laura Asia Henry and Cream, but it looks like she left on her own. Oh well, I didn't like that stank anyway. We did it. We escaped steak and shake and Azure didn't see us. Which means... Take it away. It's Thanksgiving everybody, and I was going to be working at Freddy's today, but since most of the food places are closed due to the holiday, I can't do that. I need to find a store that is actually open on this holiday, but what? Let's research. Costco? It's another general store, and it's on every holiday except Christmas. Well then let's go there. I don't care about it. 15 minutes later. Luckily it is warm out this time, unlike last week. But we're here now. Um, excuse me? I know it's Thanksgiving, but I would like to apply for a job here. Don't get me started. I know you're a troublemaker and we're the same age, but I'm not messing with you. You heard me, I'm not messing with you. I know, but can I at least get this job over with? But since you're new, I guess you're hired. If anything messes up, I will be calling your parents, okay? All right then.
Hello, and welcome to Costco, and Happy Thanksgiving. What would you like? Hi. I would like some Thanksgiving themed decorations please, with a big turkey. Me and my former Plotagon friends are going to have a big Thanksgiving party later tonight and I want it to be special. We don't have Thanksgiving decorations here. I mean, we decorated inside the store but we don't have them for sale. Go to Party City or something if you want Thanksgiving decorations, because we do not have them here. <laughs> hey, that is not funny. They do sell decorations here, and that is a lie. Can you please just sell me the decorations and then I'll leave you alone. Nope, because this is not the right store to sell them here. Go to Party City if you want the decorations, lol. That's it, I'm going to a different shop for the party decorations, and not Party City. God Betty, you are so rude, and I hope you get grounded by your parents soon. Hello you four, and welcome to Costco. What would you like? Our parents have already got us turkey, so we are each ordering sides now. I would like mashed potatoes. I would like stuffing and green beans. I would like cranberry sauce and cherries. And I would like one big apple pie for our entire gang to share. I'm sorry, but we're all out of big apple pies. Everyone else's orders are fine, but Annie's. We're having an apple shortage at the moment, and we don't really have the time for big apple pies. Really? No they are not, and you are lying. Us little Einsteins have apple pie for Thanksgiving every year, so you cannot let us down. I agree with my sister. So, can you just give her the pie, since it is not sold out? Nope either you get something else or get out, Annie. Everyone else is fine but her. That's it, we're going to Hy-Vee for our food instead. I heard they got better apple pie there anyway, so let's go there. Good idea. Hello little boy, and welcome to Costco. Wait a minute. You look like the same girl I saw in Party City on my birthday. Betty, is this you? Tell me the truth, or you know what will happen. Um, no. You're talking about another girl named Betty Lou, not me. No, no, no. You are Betty Lou. I saw you and Ella's videos before and you look just as I predicted. I was gonna get chicken nuggets for my Thanksgiving dinner tonight but now I may go to Harvey to do that instead. But, 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 but. Too late, I'm leaving now. I, I never knew a non-verbal boy would get this aggressive. Hello and welcome. Okay, stop right there. I know Chloe Walker is in this store somewhere, so I gotta find her. Um, who's Chloe Walker? She's the black girl with the magenta shirt and red shorts, and is one of my OC troublemakers, and I'm looking for her so we can have our Thanksgiving party. But she's a troublemaker. I thought troublemakers weren't allowed in parties. Yes, but she's a good one, unlike Tayshawn. I'm calling her over right now. Chloe, get in here right now. What is it, Animator? Oh, and Betty? You're fired for talking smack to all of the customers and not giving them their Thanksgiving items. Wait, what? Yep, that's right. And as a punishment, I will be kicking you out of the store, and calling your parents later. So, sayonara. No 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 Please don't do this to me Chloe Too late That's what she gets for being even worse than me Oh my god Chloe You did a good job for firing and kicking Betty out of Costco But how? Oh I've seen her hire a series before, so I always know how she will fuck up. Anyway, what would you like? Well, I was going to say that we are having a Thanksgiving party at my house later tonight. 
So, wanna come? Betty will not be invited. Of course, I would. Even though I'm a troublemaker, I can still get good deeds off other animators and my friends. Sure, I would. Let's get out of this place right now and not deal with Betty. Good idea. I will get you both for this soon. Don't ask me where I'm working, because I know where I will be working at. Freddy's. I was gonna work there two weeks ago but as you wouldn't let me, and then I was gonna work there last week but it was closed, so now this week is my chance. Let's go there right now. Five minutes later. Holy shoot. A Freddy working at Freddy's. Anyway, sir, I would like to apply for a job here. You really think so? Because there is a lot of complicated stuff here. I don't care about it. I would just like to apply for one here because I've been looking for one for months. <sighs> well, if that's what you want, I guess you're hired. Just don't do the same stuff you did at Steak and Shake, because this place is similar to it, okay? Okay then. Hello you two, and welcome to Freddy's. How can we help you? I would like a triple steak burger and fries, with some chocolate brownie delight. And I would like veggie burger with grilled cheese, and a Hawaiian delight. It's our birthdays today. I'm sorry, but it looks like we're out of delight Sundays. They got poisoned earlier this month and they won't be usable until December starts. Sorry if this disappoints you but that's the truth. Are you serious? No they are not. We are seeing some people having some right now, and there is no way it can be poisoned. I agree. Can you just give us the delight shakes along with our food? We promise it is not poisoned. Don't think that's the right trick, so either you get a different Sunday or don't get any at all. Your choice. That's it, then we're going to Andy's for our steak burgers and Sundays. Why does she think our delight Sundays are poisoned when they are not? I know, like why? I, I swear, swear they, they never, never learn. Hello little girl, and welcome to Freddy's. What would you like? First off, I'm not little, I'm 13. And second, I would like two Sundays for me and my brother, chicken tenders, and two chili cheese dogs, please. Okay, that will be- Raccoon Cabooses. Oh, now you're doing a repeat on what Union did two months ago. Why did you call her that? Because she is one. She loves to ride in the Disneyland train while she is pretending to be a raccoon. Isn't that right, Ash? <laughs> GRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRR
Welcome to Freddy's, sir. How can we help you? Okay, that's it. I've had enough of this Betty Boop. This is... Wait, what did you just call me? I called you Betty Boop Dumbass. I have seen you way too many times now and I can't stand it. I hate USB Bowser for calling me that. Um, Freddy? What just happened to Betty? She probably was upset and couldn't take jokes. Well, I was gonna fire her anyway for making all the customers in the store leave. But hey, at least I have you by my side. What would you like? I would like a steak burger and onion rings, please. Okay SB Bear in the big blue house, that will be $5. No bear. I'm back home, mom and dad. You little word. Ah, not again with the leaving house fairly, and you're now grounded for an additional week for doing that. I didn't even know that was gonna happen. I only went to Freddy's for a little bit to get ice cream. Doesn't matter, you're still grounded and you shouldn't be leaving the house while grounded. Go back to your room now Missy, and there will be no ice cream the entire month of December as well. Go, now. Alright, jeez. Great, it's raining again. But hey, that doesn't stop me from getting a job this week. But where should I work at next even, though it is cold and rainy? Um. How about Olive Garden? I never worked at an Italian restaurant before and I want to see how it feels likes. Luckily it's not far from here so I don't have to catch a cold. Let's go right now. 15 minutes later. Barely finished. Oh no, we're not starting this shit again. This is the second time I have seen you work somewhere. And fifth time overall. Yep, you're right. I wanted to smack you so hard, but... <sighs> but since we have bit of an employee shortage, I guess you're hired. Just don't fuck up like you did at Dunkin' Donuts, okay? I didn't even ask you that I wanted to apply for a job. Well, I saw most of your hire series, so I know how the plot is gonna go. Just get in the counter and work, okay? All right then. Hello you two and welcome to Olive Garden. What would you like? We know it is you Betty since me and Max saw your hair series before. But anyway, I would like spaghetti with Alfredo sauce with a breadstick. And I would like a small cheese pizza with a breadstick. And we would like strawberry tea to top IT off. I'm sorry you too, but it looks like we are all out of strawberry tea. I don't think there is such thing as it, as you guys probably imagined it in your little dragon world. You, what? No. I promise you the strawberry lemonade tea is real. It says it right there in the menu. We also get to have it at dragon world at times. Definitely. So can you please give me an Emmy the dragon I mean strawberry lemonade tea? We promise it isn't yucky. Well, if you guys want strawberry tea, go back to your little dragon world or get out, please. We're still having the tea but not in our dragon world. 
we're going to another olive garden instead to have it, and I can't believe she is so rude Max. Definitely. I don't want to go back there. <sighs> Hello Alonzo, and welcome to Olive Garden. Hold on, doesn't that girl look familiar? This is like either the third or fourth time I've seen her. Betty, is that you? <sighs> look, I'm not in a good mood right now. My Discord account got disabled a week ago. And that was all there. Daron, Daron, Daron. Um, what are you talking about and who is Darren? Just don't worry about it. I would just like a gluten-free chicken scampi even though this is the third time I've seen you. Okay, that will be $15. Oh my goodness, Daron is such a piece of crap. I don't, I don't know, know what, what the fuck, fuck he is talking, talking about. about. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting, and they had to hire a new one. Probably got his order from someone else or some shit. IDK. Oh no, not you two. But, why are you sad as well? Did your Discord accounts get disabled too? Yes, and it's all Darren's fault for doing this to us. Mine too because of him. You guys are now my second and third persons to be complaining about your accounts being disabled. Man, is this week National Disable Week or what? Just don't worry about it Betty. We're trying our best to get our accounts back soon. What Goop said, and I hope Darren and Formida will be arrested soon. Me too I guess. Anyway, what would you two like? I would like some lasagna with a breadstick. And I would like some Renard with a Brad's dig. Okay, you two, that will be $20. Wait, why aren't you giving us our meals free like what you did to Tim in July? Yeah! When he got terminated in July, you gave him a free pizza. But he didn't like it, and sorry guys, but rules are rules. The only reason why I made his pizza free was because he was sincere about it. You guys weren't sincere enough. Plus I have to follow the rules. Stupid excuse, Betty. We were sincere enough, were we AJ? Yeah! So, can you make our meals free since we're upset about the disabilition? Can't do that. You're just gonna have to deal with it, or get out. That's it, I can't take it anymore. I'm going to speak to my friends about it and get my food at Giovanni's later on. Same here. Hey, at least we have Instagram. Even though it was, I think, the fifth time I've seen, I've seen these guys. Betty, 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 Betty. What is Peg? Can't you see I'm in the middle of a job? It's about Noah Drone. He has just been tested positive for COVID. He what? I'm not kidding. He got a scan from 031 after he got back and it was positive for that virus. I don't believe this one bit. You have got to get back to his house. I have proof. Come, right now. Yeah! Okay, 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 I will peg. Um, Betty, what was all that screaming about? Huh? She's not there. Well, I was gonna fire her anyway for not giving the food to the customers talking smack to them, and not making Goob and AJ's items free. Eh, whatever. At least it isn't raining anymore but I still need to find somewhere to work at this week. But where to now, HMM? AMC Movie Theater. Oh come the fuck on, not this again. First Azure, then Moody Blues, now you Draco. I'm not working at that place, I want to work at Santa at the mall instead. I don't care. It's my request and do as I say, or else you'll be banned from all places I work at until you're 18. Got me? Alright fine Draco. A few minutes later. I'm not 
even surprised about you working here. This is the fifth time I've seen you, and second job I've seen you work at. Like why? Hey, I'm not trying to be mean here, but I requested the video along with several others, so you cannot stop me this time. Ugh, fine. Anyway, I would I mean, forced to be applied a job here by you. Okay, now you're just being sarcastic. But since I did force you to apply for one here, I guess you're hired. Just don't do what you always do, or you know what will happen, okay? Ugh, fine. Hello you two and welcome to the AMC Movie Theater. How can we help you? Wow wow, me and Daisy would like two tickets to see Spirited please. It's one of the best Christmas movies ever and me and my boyfriend would like to see it. I'm sorry too, but we're all out of tickets for that movie. What? That movie came out years ago, and this theater is only for new movies that came out from September to now, not that stupid 2000s shit. Wow wow wow, what is your problem? This movie is not sold out. And I don't care if it is from the 2000s or not, we still want to see it. Lavender Lollipops, well said. Can we just get the tickets to that movie? Or if not, we can just order it off eBay. <laughs> just get the fuck out, you two. We don't have them here and that is final. That is not funny, and yes, we are out of here. Even though we can be troublemakers, we can be nice as well, and that troublemaker there wasn't nice. Lavender lollipops, yes. Hello and welcome to AMC. How can we help you? I would like a ticket to see the new Avatar movie. Not the 2009 one but the Waken one. Are you in drugs or something? That movie doesn't come out for another two days. You'll have to come back in here on Friday if you want to see that movie, but not today. Ah, uh, some movie theaters actually did release Avatar a couple days early before, so I assume this one will do the same thing. I just want the tickets for that movie. Okay, but not today. On Friday you can have them. That's it, I'm going to another movie theater that actually is showing Avatar and I cannot pull up with Betty's lies anymore. Again, how, how the fuck, fuck does, does he know, know my name? name? Hello sorry, and welcome to- Four times now Betty, four times. I was gonna watch the new Grinch movie here until you had to ruin it for me. I didn't even know you were gonna show up sorry. This is the fourth time I've seen you. I did though, and I'm sick of your actions Betty. Ella is right, you shouldn't be trusted after what you did to all my friends in the past. Sorry, no. I'm going to Cineplex instead to see that movie. I don't like you and I hope you get grounded. Pie. Well, that's, that's fine, fine with, with me, me sorry. sorry. Hello, and welcome to- Give me back my job, right now. Now 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 now. Damn it, not this again. This is the second time I've seen you Wayne, and no, I didn't fire you back in 2020. Yes he did. Admit it you little bitch. Some black haired Indian named Razor fired me back in 2020, and I want my job back right now. You dumb. Well then if you're going to act like a Kevin in front of me and accusing me of Razor, you are now banned here for a long time. Um, what? What is going on here? You'll pay this back, you dumb. Shouldn't have tried that, Wayne. Thanks a lot Razor for saving my life from that Kevin. He was threatening to beat me up and he wanted his job back. Anytime, bro. Now, 
You just continue on what you were doing and I'll let Draco know. Okay then. Betty, 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 Betty. Damn it. This is the second time you barged in here saying my name, but why do you look so happy this time? It's about Nova Drome again. He got tested negative for COVID and is now feeling better from the sickness. Yes, yes, finally. After about a week he is now covered free. I haven't been to his house since he got tested positive and this will be the first time in a week I see him. Now come on, let's go. We gotta let everyone the news. Draco, explain this. Why did you leave the place all excited with a little girl? I don't know. Well, I was gonna fire her anyway for not giving everybody their movie tickets and making everyone leave, so I'd say it's a pretty good thing. Really? You may never know. Oh wow, this time it is snowing. That is the perfect Christmas weather we need. And I already know where I will be working at this week. Santa at my local mall. I was gonna be there last week but Draco ruined it, so now is my chance to do it this week. Let's go there right now. <coughs> Fifteen minutes later. It was cold, but it was worth it. Oh where, oh where, can that replacement Santa be? Oh where, oh where, can he be? Oh, I think there is one now. Hey, what's wrong and why is there no Santa in the mall? Well, the Santa that was supposed to come to the mall today is out sick and we don't have a replacement since flu season is going around and because of the snow. Do you want to be our replacement Santa? We never had a female one before. Um, yes. I would just about to ask you guys that anyway before I came in here. Do you think we should trust her with this? Maybe, just prepare yourself. The mall will be opening in an hour and you're hired for this Santa thing. Yes. Two hours later. Come on, come on. Santa is out sick today so his wife Mrs. Claus is here instead. She's just as good as Santa and will give you what you want for Christmas. I, I hope, hope this job goes, goes good. Ho 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 little girl. Welcome to my arena, and what would you like for Christmas? I would like a Barbie tricycle. Here is my list. I'm sorry, but it looks like we're out of most of what you got on your list. What? With the flu and snowstorms going around, the elves don't have all the time in the world to make those toys you chose on your list. Pick something else, would you? Way. Mommy, that girl Santa was mean to me. I want to go home. Wow. What, what was, was that, that all about? Ho ho ho. Hello kids and welcome to my lair. What would you like for Christmas this year? Me and the Max would like more dragon stuff. And wait a minute, didn't we see you before when Ella's bestie got the virus? Yeah, you look so familiar. Betty? Please admit you're not Santa and we'll go to a different Santa lair. Huh? I don't know what you kids are talking about, I am the real Mrs. Claus. So, what would you two like for Christmas this year? We just said, Dragon Merchandise and you are lying. It is you Betty. Oh, we've got other children waiting in line and we don't want them crying. Whoops, sorry. But seriously though, it is you Betty, and we're not going anywhere involving you. But, 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 but. Sorry, but we don't trust Santa fakers. We trust real Santas and that's it. Why, Why haven't we got, got a single successful child yet? yet? Ho 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 Jasmine, and welcome to my lair. Okay first off, how do you know my name Mrs. Claus? And second, why do you sound an awful lot like Betty Lou? 
If I swear to God if this Mrs. Claus is Betty Lou, it'll be the fourth or fifth time I've seen her and I will never go to another Santa's lair again. Ho ho ho, but... <sighs> All right, fine, I admit it. I won't be telling out publicly though but at least you know it is me. I knew it. It is the fourth or fifth time I've seen you Betty, this time dressing up as Mrs. Claus. I'm too old for these kinds of Santa things anyway. Nope, not another word. I'm going to another store at the mall and hopefully I get over the fake Santa thing that is you. Pish. Ho 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 Ashley, and welcome to my- I fucking knew it. It's your Betty Lou who has been the fake Santa this entire time. Just a fake Mrs. Claus. The real one is down at the other mall. That is actually Betty Lou the troublemaker. Get them kids. <laughs> That's what you get for admitting you're a fake Santa. Now my head has hurt and I got a concussion because of those idiots. Well you shouldn't have admitted your fake Santa in front of the other kids. I was gonna fire you anyway for being mean to them and for revealing your fake. Actually, I revealed she was fake because I know what suspicious stuff she'll do. I know it is only the second time I've seen her but I know her dirty antics. You do have a good point. And as for you Betty, get out of the mall right now. I will be calling your parents about this. Get out. All right, jeez. I'm going to lie down when I get home because those kids made me get a bad headache. And good job Raccoon Kaboos for saving the day. What did you just call me? Oh, how I love a happy ending. Now that Christmas is over, it's time to find a real job that isn't holiday-like. It's pretty warm outside, so maybe the next job will be outdoors. But which one? HMM. I got it. How about- Not so fast. Not again with my parents. I didn't even say what job I was working at next and you two already stopped me. Yes, and not only that, you will not be able to work at any more jobs for the rest of your life. Ever. Yeah, you heard us. You will not be able to get a job ever again. You have tried out 50 jobs and all of them failed. What the heck? How the hell do you two knew I had 50 jobs? I was gonna be working outside today until you two had to come up, and now you suddenly know I worked at 50 of them. We saw Les Belly Lou for hire playlist while you were sleeping. We know everything. We saw what you were doing at every single job you worked at. You have escaped the house over 50 times throughout the last year. I mean, come on! You took all these jobs without our permission too. Don't believe me? Take a look on how you are doing in the jobs. But guys, none of that is true. I was doing so good on those jobs, but then suddenly I get fired from them. Lies. You did horrible in all of the 50 jobs you worked at. And you always thought Pepsi was bankrupt as well in a fifth of the playlist when it is not.
You also made almost every single customer you encountered in those 50 jobs leave because of your shit talk behavior. What is wrong with you? Look guys, this is all just a big misunderstanding. Tell it to the judge. You are going to court because of all the shit you did the entire 2022 with your jobs. Come on, let's go. No 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 I don't want to go to court We have no other choice. The cops are at our house right now. Court is now in session. This session includes the people of Gon Imit City versus Betty Lou. Betty Lou is being sentenced here for all the slant that she did in her 50 jobs all of 2022. Well, almost. So Betty, how do you plead? I plead, not guilty. Come on you guys, it is all a big misunderstanding. Read, Read the, the charges, charges your, your honor. honor. Betty Lou, you are being charged for your slander, lies, disrespecting customers, and sheer rudeness you did at all 50 of your jobs, and getting fired on each and every single one of them. Those jobs include, Raisin Canes, Burger King, Walmart, Target, Tecca Bell, Dunkin' Donuts, Home Depot, Starbucks, McDonald's. Two very boring minutes later. Freddy's, Olive Garden, AMC, and most recently, Santa at the mall last week. Those are your 49 or 50 jobs that you cause trouble at. Are there any witnesses to call? I would like to call myself to the stand, your honor. Okay Navadrone, tell us what you remember from Betty's past job she was fired at. I first saw her in Arby's back in May, and I remembered when she kicked me out of that place back then all because of Adrian snoring. Like what the fuck? I also remember seeing her at Goodwill a few weeks later and I did not want to see her face. The same thing happened while I was at the swimming pool, Domino's, and Spirit Halloween. I also remember when she dodged my information two months ago and when she was waking me up non-stop a few weeks just because of my snoring. I just, can't stand to see her anymore. She gave me nightmares before and I do not want it happening again. Okay. Thank you, Rise. You may return to the jury stand. Okay, Your Honor. Does anyone else have any more questions? Ah, uh, here, here we, we go, go again. again. Three hours later. Thank you, Victoria. You may return to the jury stand. Thank you, Your Honor. That must be the last of them. Your Honor, the jury has reached a verdict of Guayanamit City versus Betty Lou. Okay. What is your verdict? Guilty. Betty Lou, you have been found guilty for doing all this the last year and for causing chaos around Main Street. She'll be hereby sentenced to a month in prison. And when she is released from prison, she'll be under house arrest for an entire year. We don't want her working ever again. And as for you, Betty Lou, you won't be able to work at any jobs again when your house arrest is finished. Is there any last words, before your sentence is carried out? No mom. I just want to get this over with. I regret what I did now and I feel deeply sorry for it. Apology denied. You will stay in prison and when you're released, you'll be in house arrest. Gods, take her away. Just get this over with already. That should teach her a lesson after escaping the house 50 jobs and doing poorly on all 50 of them. I agree. Like little Bill, she gives me a headache. Me too. By the way. Court agent. You can go home now. Thank the Lord. Well, this stinks. I have to stay in here for the month of the January, and when I get out, I'll be in house arrest. 
If only I did not escape 50 times, none of this would have happened. Well, I guess it marks the end of my higher series. Hope you guys enjoyed 50 episodes of my misery, and it ends here now.